Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are looking at the pulse motor with the magnets on. Uh, I am going to turn it on, pulse motor, put the electricity in, and we're going to let it go. And then I'll show you how the magnets are set up once we like just let it stop. But as you can see, the reed switch is flashing at different intervals, which is pretty neat for me, considering that it still runs pretty smoothly. Now, it's not obscenely fast, and that's good. Because it's seemingly fast, it would fall apart like it always does. But I'll show you. All right, let's cut it. Now, I believe it's going to spin for a little bit longer than it usually does. Because the ceramic magnets repel the ceramic magnets, I believe very well. I can work better working with one another together. So you saw how fast it was going when I cut the power. And there it is. Power is cut. Now what I think this is, is these outer ceramic magnets are, you know, contributing to the motion right now. <clears throat> and I think that's, that's pretty awesome. You know, too bad. Let me turn this on, see if we are getting, too bad we're not getting any electricity from this. Yep, no voltage is being generated. It might be because something's not plugged in, or I think it's just because it's they're too far away and not strong enough. Do you even get one AC volt or something? Not right. It might be that I need to make new coils. I mean, that's totally a possibility. Because I, I, I feel like whenever I make a new one, it works better now this this is an eight magnet array on the on the rotor it goes one two three four and then one off one off one off so it's like half of it is staggered and the other half is in a straight line. It appears to function <clears throat> relatively well. I'm not saying it's the best setup in the world, but... thinking maybe there's a better way I don't know I don't know if there is or not because it's just two more you know if it was like three more then it would be a way different setup we could do nine if I had nine of these little ceramic magnets I could do nine but I don't got eight And you can see when the spaced out part gets going. Yeah, it like stalled out right there. But I think that's pretty neat. Now, what I'm going to do, 
hopefully without screwing this up too badly I can just Now they're all staggered intervaled. They're intervaled. Now let's see. Get it going a little bit. Turn it back on. I feel like that read switch might be in the wrong spot. Yeah, it started going the other way. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, see, we had to move it over here now because of the different setup. And that is 135 volts going through those coils but they're a little bit far away <clears throat> but they're not so far away that this isn't going to get going really fast in a little bit and all we're trying to do really is test out Test out this uh, magnet array on the outside here, these ceramics. Okay, that's getting a little fast. We're gonna cut that off. We got one volt. We got one volt. And we're just going to let it roll until it stops. And then decide whether or not we're going to put those other two magnets back in. But I don't think we're going to be running a generator anytime soon. Because I have to, in order to make that work on this orientation the current orientation instead of having it be like the price is right we got it going like wheel of fortune okay so we're doing wheel of fortune so nine of those big neodymium magnets can fit on the rotor on the horizontal I like to call it the horizontal but on the Wheel of Fortune orientation, only nine. Anything else with this magnitude will be too much and the read switch won't be able to differentiate the distance between them. So it'll be like on all the time and you don't want that. You want it to be like a slingshot thing. Look at that. It's still going. But 
these magnets are strong, man. They're really strong. And so we got Big Daddy Rotor right here. This is Big Daddy Rotor. It's like six discs thick. They're glued together. Then the magnets are screwed in. The base magnet is screwed into it and glued. Screwed and glued. Then I place a little flat big one like this on top of it. Yeah. So I think I might put the, the big ones back on there. I only see four of them. All right, that's about that for that. And thank you very much. Have a good night. Please subscribe. And I'm going to put some more magnets on this thing and see if I can't. Just screw it up completely. Alright, have a good night. There it is.